Hey everybody, it's Darcy, the bad artist from London, Ontario, Canada. And the reason I say Canada like that is because today is July 1st, so happy Canada Day, not only to, to my Canadian friends, but also my American friends. Love you guys to the south. And in three days, we get to celebrate July 4th. So, today's video is going to be about a hippogriff. Um, a hippogriff is a mythical creature, and this was... Um, a subscriber request from my good friend Grace. Now Grace is just this cute young girl and she writes to me and says, uh, Darcy, could you please do a hippogriff? If you do, I will not date boys until I'm 34 and I'll also give you my aunt's phone number. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so this is a hippogriff for Grace and here we go. And stay out of the heat. You know what I heard today? Uh, it is so hot in my city right now. They said it's actually cooler in Egypt than it is in southern Ontario, Canada. Cooler in Egypt in this summer. Who would have thought? Have a great day. Here we go. So one of the reasons why Grace picked a uh, hippogriff to be painted is because herself and the rest of her family and me included along with millions of other people in the world uh, we're all Harry Potter fans and if you remember in the Harry Potter series the hippogriff that showed up do you remember its name it was Buckbeak and um, so I think that's one of the reasons why she was looking for a hippogriff so in looking into this like I do all my research and look for reference images and something uh, just to, to paint from. The one thing I found in common uh, is because it's a mythical creature, there's really not a set sort of standard of how a hippogriff is made. Uh, the general consensus, however, is it's half eagle and half horse, with the front half being the eagle and the back half being the horse. It also has wings, uh, again, from the eagle. But in looking at the different uh, variations and pictures I was using for reference and trying to find the best one, I saw a wide variety anywhere from, for example, it was almost a 90% horse with wings and then just an eagle head. Or could have even been the opposite where it was largely an eagle except for the back uh, hoofs and even the tail. And I've actually seen... Sometimes it's not even a horse's tail, it's an eagle's tail. So, I mean, I suppose that's one good thing about uh, doing art, uh, especially when you don't have to conform to usual standards, is that you can sort of do it the way you want. So, when doing this hippogriff, I, I did it sort of what my best personal interpretation was. I looked at a lot of the Harry Potter movie images and uh, tried to copy it as best from that as I could. Now, the one thing about Buckbeak in the movies, if you look them, look them up real quick, or her, um, Buckbeak is largely gray and white, um, and with some darker shades of uh, grays and blacks. So I did add some color to this hippogriff. For example, the biggest thing was I made, and you'll see this coming up in the video, I made the horse brown. Uh, so the brown... Um, also did some modeled spots into the gray. You can see right there I'm doing the the tail and the tail has um, a lot of brown in it as well. So my primary colors for the horses but if I can call that is the uh, is the browns, the uh, chestnut and charcoal browns um, and then I made the eagle uh, gray and largely white. Used a lot of um, ultramarine blue in the wings because ultramarine blue I find is a fantastic color for uh, doing shadows and shadow work because uh, especially on a, a gray and white creature or animal to put more gray and white in the shadows sometimes you lose the effect of the cool shadows so I did start using blues in there but let's start talking about the hippogriff itself and the legend behind it um, so we'll talk a little bit about that right now. As you can see, I'm just sort of working on it. So the hippogriff, you can see a lot in past literature. 
as typically being a uh, symbol of good. Um, usually good, but the type that can also do some butt kicking to the bad guys. Uh, for And this also comes from not only horses, um, but uh, eagles themselves. If you've seen or read Lord of the Rings, there's the black riders on their winged demons. And if you remember what counterbalances them in the novels and at, in the movies at the end, it's the giant eagles that not only fly Gandalf in, but then the eagles start picking the Nazgul beasts out of the air. And same goes with horses, typically in uh, literature, where the Western hero or Gandalf or the young maiden Joan of Arc type heroes always sort of ride in on these fantastic huge horses that uh, sort of plow through all the bad guys and help save the day. And also notable with horses, you can think of cavalry coming in where the uh, warriors are on horseback and they come in and save the day. So typically the hippogriff is known as a, a good creature that sort of brings in the rush of all the goodness to take over the evil. Um, I'm not sure the original, I tried finding it, I'm not sure the original point where someone said, hey, let's stick a horse and an eagle together to create a hippogriff, but whenever it was, it has stuck um, quite well, and typically this one in Harry Potter as well befriends Harry and his friends, and um, it seems like whenever they need a little bit of a save in the storyline that uh, Buckbeak uh, shows up and helps them out. And, but that's pretty consistent, and it's one thing with the mythical creatures. There's other ones out there you've probably seen, uh, Chimera, or, or where it could be, for example, a goat, it's a goat's head and a lion's head, and maybe a tiger's head on the back of a something else, another cow or horse or something like that but typically the hippogriff always tends to be the eagle in the horse so again um, now that I've done this for Grace she can't date anyone until she's 34 so I think that was worthwhile um, I had fun with this one it's a little bit harder finding um, information that's and I use the word accurate in quotes because it is sort of made up, but um, I did like doing this one. Um, if you like this, please subscribe and share and comment. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great day. Thanks again.